Hello, it's a good morning to you all, lovely viewers. This is Norway Ghana. I'm back again to your screens with another update, and today I want us to look at um, a very, very important topic which has to do with um, some few things you must consider before you enter into snow farming, which is very, very important. Um, a lot of people do not consider the fact that uh, you have to put a lot of things in place before you even start to think of venturing into snow farming. And in this video, I will list some of the things that you have to consider before you start or you venture into snow farming. I, I will list them in no particular order of importance. I'll just be listing them as and when it comes off head. But uh, if you ask me, I would say that all are equally important. They are all factors you have to consider before you enter into snow farming. You just cannot overlook uh, these facts. First of all, snow farming is not a get money quick scheme or get money fast venture. Snow farming is a patient game. Snow farming is something that you need not to rush. It's just about numbers. You know, snow farming is just about numbers. So it's a it's a game of patience it's not get money quick quick like it's not it's not a, a, a quick money scheme you see snow farming is not a quick money scheme so before you enter into snow farming you have to note that it is a game of patience you have to take your time i always tell people that if you are not ready yeah if you are not ready to be patient please do not invest in snow farming because you would waste money if you are not patient i hear people saying in one month you can get x amount of snows in two months you can get x amount of snows but please if you are not ready to wait please do not enter into snow farming the moment you have that thought of quick 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 money quick quick money that is the beginning of your failure in snow farming now i always tell people to switch into profit in snow farming you must have been doing it for a minimum of a year or one and a half years so in one of my videos i i said or advised people that give yourself let's say one and a half years that is when you start seeing profit or one let's say minimum one year but one year is something that you will still make money when you sell but it wouldn't be like you waited for a one and a half year. So I always tell people that that is the waiting period. So if you think that the money or the funds you are investing in snow farming, you cannot wait till one and a half years or at least one year, please do not enter into snow farming because this is not a venture for you to put money in. The next day you make the money back in a multiple fold. No. It doesn't work like that. When you put money in snow farming, you have to wait for at least one or a minimum of one and a half years before you finally switch into profit. Because by then, you would have had a couple of cycles in your farm and that will automatically switch you into profit. So until you get to that stage, please... I mean, it's not a one-month scheme that you put money in the next day you are making profit. No, it doesn't work like that. So, the next thing I would also want to talk about is um, water. Now, as we all know, snow farming is water. Water is snow farming. Please, for Christ's sake, if you do not have water on your site or wherever you want to do your snow farming, please do not invest in snow farming. Or if you not do if or if you don't have a reliable source of water, let's say borehole, let's say pipe bond water. Now there's a way we treat pipe bond water to make it wholesome for snows. I think I've done a video on that some time ago. So if you go through our channel, you'll see that video, then you can watch. Now you have to make sure that you have constant supply of water at your farm before you decide to enter into snow farming now even if you don't have a borehole on your site or wherever you are you are you are doing your farming make sure you have reliable source of water now if you are relying on these um these cars these trucks that su supply water make sure you have 
about a couple of people i mean a couple of these tracks make sure you have their contact so that if one fails you you can rely on the other on the other hand if you have pie born water there is a way we treat it to make it wholesome for snow farming now if you have a borehole that's a bonus for you so please make sure you have water at your farm or you have access to water before you enter into snow farming if you don't put this in place and you build your greenhouse or whichever system you want to practice and you find it difficulty supplying your farm with water you would have a lot of casualties you know snow farm is water water is snow farm so if you don't have water please do not invest in snow farming for christ's sake do not invest in snow farm because you may lose your funds water is very very essential when it comes to snow farming and so please try your best to secure avenues for water before you enter into snow farming one other thing i would also want us to look at is theft now theft is a factor that can wipe your farm in few weeks if you don't have a mechanism that controls theft trust me you'll be working but others will be benefiting from your sweat now regardless the system you practice whether the extensive or the intensive system theft is something you should have control over or you should have a mechanism to check theft one way you can go by this if you are doing a large scale or medium scale is to install cctv cameras now that may be very costly but if you are doing it in a large scale it makes so much sense to have a security system in place to check the farm if you are doing it medium scale it is also important that you have a security check but if you are doing it on a very small scale uh, maybe it may not be really important to do that but if you are doing it on a medium or a large scale it's very very important now if for some reasons you are unable to go with, um, with a C uh, cctv camera what you can do is to get someone you really trust like someone you can really put your hand on the line for someone you know that this person wouldn't do a or b or c to me now when you get that person in place that is another way of also controlling theft theft is a major problem in snow farming so you need to get someone on site or on field who is checking and controlling everything on your behalf that is if you are not available however if it's a a, a huge skill like a large skill you are doing try and get cameras or a proper system in place to check or monitor things for you because if you don't do that you realize that you'll be working all right but people would be benefiting from your, your your own workers your own farm workers will be benefiting from you and they'll be making a lot of money from you so you have to make sure that you put a lot of systems in place to check some of these things and i think you should be good to go now the other things that you have to put in place before you uh, decide to enter into snow farming but um i think they are they are all minor minor um situations but these three things are the major things one has to consider that is water theft and patience these are the three things that one has to consider before entering into snow farming so i always say that make sure you have considered these three things and you have satisfied them accordingly before you enter into snow farming because if you don't do that you may have challenges along the line i'm done for today this is snowy ghana till i come your way another time it's a bye-bye from us all